The Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service rates working closely with the ambulance service and police as one of its biggest achievements. It is one of the only fire and rescue services to have responded to Red 1 and Red 2 calls with the backing of the Fire Brigade's union, as Julie MacDonald explains. Hello. Control, please can we um, request fire backup for access to this property? Working together, Lancashire Fire and Rescue alongside their colleagues in the ambulance service, their successful partnership could reshape response to emergency calls across the region. Police and paramedics here in Lancashire are under huge pressure to meet the needs of their community. And a union-backed pilot scheme where the fire service here is trained in emergency first responding is removing some of that pressure. Peter Mulcahy is head of paramedic and emergency services for Northwest Ambulance Service. Well, during the trial, I know that the fire service have responded, and we only have them operating at two stations in the trial. They've responded to in excess of 400 calls during the trial, and that would include about 35 cardiac arrest cases. Every opportunity we have to get to a patient quicker, every opportunity we've got to treat that patient with more hands and to get that patient away to hospital quickly has got to enhance the, the, the likelihood of a positive outcome for them. Now trained to handle 152 different call types, including red ones and twos, the whole crew attends in their fire engine. Crew manager Jim Davidson relishes the opportunity to use his team's valuable skills, enhanced with training from their paramedic colleagues to support the community. We have had incidents in the past about traffic collisions. We're then giving sort of primary care for a longer period of time. Now we've got a crew that are comfortable in that role and very capable in that role. Initially there was concern because are we taking work away from the ambulance service, that kind of stuff, but that is just the normal sort of misunderstanding. Um, then we, when we looked it into a bit closer, uh, and obviously for us, the union are, are very much behind the trial. Fewer fires and successful prevention work means these highly experienced fire service trauma teams are well placed to respond in an emergency. Deputy Chief Fire Officer Justin Johnson was key in setting up the pilot scheme. If your ambulance service is coming within its response standard, no problem at all. Um, but if the fire and rescue service can get there six minutes sooner, four minutes sooner, and start that vital life-saving work, and then when their ambulance service colleagues turn up, work alongside them uh, just to give that additional support, then the chances of uh, having a better outcome for the people of Lancashire are significant. Local paramedics agree that support from their fire service colleagues during the pilot has been invaluable. The important thing if somebody's in a cardiac arrest is that we get a defibrillator to them quickly and we start doing compressions. When I'm on my own, I can be waiting um, 10, 20, 30 minutes for an ambulance to back me up if we're really busy. So to have extra hands there, it's just, it's a godsend. It allows me to be able to do much more for the patient. In some emergencies, gaining entry to a property is key. And here the Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service now have a contracted arrangement with the police. The team here stand in for them when entering properties that their ambulance service colleagues struggle to access. Their deployment times are speedier than ours because it's likely that our officers are already tied up at incidents and they carry better first aid equipment oxygen, defibrillators, they have all that on their pumps. So for patient survivability, it's a lot speedier. It is the future. Tri-service collaboration, three emergency services all working together. After a successful pilot, the next ambition here is to deliver emergency first responding from every single station in Lancashire. Great news for the people of this wildly diverse region and its emergency crews who want to maximise their collective experience and their passion to serve the community.